Hey guys, Young 40 Mom here. Um, been slightly busy. This is our busy season at work uh, as we sell toys and games online. Uh, we are a featured seller on Amazon with the company that I work for. It's Art Arts Game Store on Amazon and eBay. But uh, as you as you know, you know if you sell toys and games, of course, this is the busy season for us. So I haven't had a chance to get much done. But um, I did. Uh, my last update was in October. I've been uploading other videos as well in the meantime, but um, have not done a um, up whip update or finish here lately. But this is going to be a combination of my cross stitch and my crochet stuff. Oh, I forgot to get one of my bags. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, my whips that I've got going. Um, set that aside and let's see okay so uh, this is what I've been working on lately it's my kitten face um, you can find the pattern online at uh, my Etsy shop I'll leave the link below in the description box but I got the top right corner I've done this in four panels and this is the top right corner I've got to get I've got to finish filling in the stitches but this is all I've gotten done for right now I'm not sure when I'm going to get it done. I'm and more than likely because I've done it on 14 count. I'm going to make it into a pillow and probably gift it to someone who likes kittens or cats. But that's the first block. And this is going to be the second block. Isn't that adorable? Oh, the glare. Sorry. There we go. That's the second block. So that's what I'll be working on probably later this evening. So that is that whip that I'm working on and you remember in my haul my boxes I found um, I found a use for them so this is my whips and that one is for my finished project so okay so this is remember this was the box that again I got like for a dollar fifty dollar seventy five something like that and it has a magnetic closure this one has a um, Velcro closure, but this one has a magnetic closure. And that's where I've got my extra threads and some scissors and my markers and my um and, and, and I find that it's easier for me instead of marking off my um my patterns with markers, I revert a lot of times back to colored pencils. Um and that's why I keep my own. Oh, you know I love Garfield. So that's my Garfield pencil sharpener. Um, so that's what I do. A lot of times I, I'll leave the markers because I can. If the little squares are really small on the patterns. I'll mark them with a, um, a Crayola pencil. Colored pencil. So uh, because sometimes unless you have a fine point marker. I see this was. This is the smallest I could find as far as like a marker and the tip I mean it's got a chisel tip on it which is really small but depending on if your pattern is really really small I recommend the the colored pencils um, rose art or Crayola whichever okay so on my friend's portrait that I was working on previously remember I told you I did not like working with the white um, it's a pain in my patoot so uh, I've got a little bit of it done the white on white not much I'm I don't think I had any of this filled in the last time I talked to you, but I got a little bit done. But I did it on 22 count, 2 over 1, and uh, yeah, that that's about the progress I got on that, so it's not really that much. Um, Ant carrying hot dog, again, this is a pattern on my shop. Um, all I have to finish, I've still got this in a hoop, even though I've converted to Q-snaps. Thank you guys for showing me the, the Q-snaps. I'm in love. But anyway... Um, all I have to do is finish in the bun and put the words that go across the bun and then he will be done and again he will be a pillow too and this is this is one of the patterns that's great for beginners um, I'm, I'm actually it's really funny I don't park and in this pattern you really don't need to park because there's only let's see one two three four four maybe five colors in the entire piece that you use but um, what I did do was I, I threaded up six needles, since there's six threads, and I'm using two over one, 
um, on the 14 count. But so what I did was I threaded up six needles with the same color and just went behind each one. And as I finished one needle, I picked up the other one. Um, and then I went over the back side. Let's see, you really can't see it. Went over the back side with the new threaded needle and covered it up so I wouldn't have to lace the, th the needle through the thread to bind it off. And then after I stitched over the remainder of the thread on the previous needle, I snipped off the needle and continued on. So that was kind of like, that was interesting. I thought I'd try something like that. Just a little quick tip on that. But that's my Aunt Karen hot dog. Um, hopefully I'll get that done uh, in the next week or so. Uh, it's just very tedious with the one color over and over and over again. And then like I said, I've got to put the sayings on it as well. So there's that one. Um, let's see, this is going to be my next start. And that's my next start. So let's see. I think that's all I have now. I have not really progressed on the <coughs> excuse me, the portrait that I was working on for my friend. Um, so I don't know if I showed the the whip on this or not, but this is uh, my best friend's girls uh, with kitty hair on it. I'm gonna have to go over it with some tape. But I have not have not really worked on that. Let's see what I've got in here. Um, and then in here, there's my Noah sub. I'll take a clip of that. I, I did a couple of stitches on that. Not really that much. Um, so, yeah. Those are my whips. So we've got one. And carrying hot dog. That's two. And three. My friends. And I try to work a little bit on each one. I don't have a weekly rotation. Um, as I keep finding that I'm starting new stuff constantly. Okay, this one is four. Oh, okay. So this needs to stay out because this is my 11 inch Q snap and it will not fit in the box. So I keep that one out beside me. Oh, this is uh, some of the books, patterns, not books, the, some of the patterns that I was going to show you uh, in my stash video soon, hopefully. I, I sorted them by companies or artists. Um, so I have several. And then, you see that? Uh-huh. That at the bottom row is um, needlepoint, canvas, and crochet. And a few cross stitch books. And then up at the top are some over there to the far right. Right there. Those are cross stitch books. And then over here, well that's my V.C. Andrews collection. Don't look at that. That's not crafty. I, it's just somewhere I had to put my books. Okay. So, another one I'm going to start is, um, let's see, Abstract Angles. I don't think, I think I just printed out the pattern. I don't think I printed out the picture. But if you go to the Etsy shop, you can look up Abstract Angles, and it'll show you what it's going to look like. But, um, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh, I'm trying to, I, I, in my previous videos, I mentioned that I had a bunch of this, um, this gray 14 count Ada cloth. It was on a bolster. Um, I got like dirt, dirt cheap. So I, I'm trying to use it up. So I figured for my sample pieces of my work, because I wanted to stitch these up and, and have finished works, uh, a pip oh, I can't talk, a picture of finished works to put up on the Etsy shop and also on my Just For Fun Facebook page so that people can see what it looked like uh, stitched up. And so most of these are going to be into pillows and they're going to be gifted. But it's 14 by 14 is what I cut the fabric to. So let's see. Uh, and this is before I discovered I really liked Q-snaps so I really didn't leave enough material. But the portrait itself is 12 by 12. 11 and a half so yeah I did not give myself enough room for that so it's 168 stitches by 161 stitches um, and that's the colors that are on it but also in my Etsy shop I, I, I took I have three three abstract uh, pictures that I did uh, made in the created cross stitch patterns for um, abstract um, see faces and curves I think are the three names 
and um, I've got them individually priced but I also have them in a bundle if you want to get all three in a a combo I've got that but anyway not wanting to I, I apologize I'm not really I'm not trying to plug my shop I'm just trying to explain the pattern if you want to take a look at what what it's gonna look like when it's done um, but I'm, I'm that's one of my starts and this one is my cartoon eagle it doesn't really use that many it's 169 by 163 uh, 14 count it is 10 by 10 pretty much on 14 count and I'm kind of excited about starting that because it's really cute and like I said cartoonish it'd be great for a kids room like a little throw pillow like I said I'm, gonna, I'm pretty much gonna since these are all my patterns and they're they're for beginners pretty much and I did them on such a large count they're gonna be pillows so there's that and I will be right back with my finishes oh no no no! I have a couple more whips um, with the crochet stuff so hold on just a second I'll be okay. right back these are my couple of my crochet whips um, this is my Christmas bear I finally got him finished as I showed you the yarn in my haul uh, my last haul or my first haul anyway <laughs> the last video where I did a haul um, this is my Christmas bear I finally got him finished I just have to assemble him and I just thought these ears just turned out so cute so I just have to piece him together so he's done and he's falling around everywhere um, this is one of my Tennessee bears my UT bears my go orange go big orange bears there's little ears I've got to put him together these are my bigger bears these are my uh, um, my 10 or 11 inch bears they're pretty big um, then the other ones I make are six inch bears um, they're a lot smaller and then I made one all orange with the white accent for him and then I realized once I did that that I did the ears wrong these are supposed to be orange ears with white trim so anyway so those are my bears and I have to assemble them and stitch them together this I thought those would be really cute now he they're gonna get this ribbon this orange really isn't showing up good on this it's it's Tennessee orange but it looks like a darker orange on the camera to me but anyway um, this is the ribbon that I'm gonna tie around their neck and I also got some uh, if you saw in the haul I got some bands uh, rainbow rainbow and bands I'm gonna do like a, a choker uh, and it it will be able to be detachable so it can be a spirit bracelet and then for the bears I'm gonna do um, I bought some um, in my haul you saw the the gold and the glit it was glitter gold glitter red and glitter green ribbons and again that's going to be tied around their neck so anyway those are my my whips on my bear so all my whips are done so now we're going to do some completes okay let me get these out of the way all right on to some finishes i always hope that these videos are going to be shorter than they really turn out to be but then i get to run in my mouth and i just have to explain everything uh <laughs> these are the latest on my the rainbow loom stuff these are granny square bracelets they're so cute I had three of them but I've already sold one so yeah those are really cute they turned out really cute I'm impressed they, I'm really really pleased with the way these turned out but they look they're they're little granny squares that were crocheted um, I found a tutorial on YouTube and I cannot remember who the who the person is she actually copied it from somebody else but I, I just thought they were really cute and I made them up I, I sported one a friend of mine I'm sorry wore one I'd given one to her, and um, one of her patients wanted one, so yeah, I made a couple more, and then they go in the little bags with my tags. So yeah, so those are some that I did. I actually did four of them, so that's the only two that's left. Cross stitching. I uh, finished the whale tail. Finally figured out what I wanted to put on it. Just dive right in. So I finally finished this one. Took me forever to finally finish on the the blue. Um, and now I kind of wished I'd I'd done it in in like um, two different two different shades. Done some twilling, and those of you who don't know what twilling is, it's where you take two different colors of floss and match them together and stitch with them. So I kind of wished I'd twilled this one, but it turned out okay. Got a little smished here, um, but I need to wash it, spray um, not spray starch. Um, I'm going to spray Scotch Guard. Scotch guard it 
and turn this one into a pillow and I think this will be perfect on Matson's bed since it's got the whale and it goes with the aquatic theme in her room so I think that'll be really cute. So that, that I finished. Then of course you know I finished my pumpkin finally and this is a free pattern. Um, just email young40mom at gmail.com if you want this pattern. I know um, I don't have a blog up or else I would put it on there so that you could get the pattern. Um, I think I will figure out a way to put it on my Facebook just for fun page. Um, that one's Crafty Young Mom. They wouldn't let me have Young 40 Mom because that's what my Facebook page is. So my, my just for fun page, I couldn't use Young 40 Mom again so I had to do Crafty Young Mom. So Anyway, I'm going to figure out how to download the pattern there so you can get it there. But in the meantime, if you want it, if you email me at Young 40 Mom, that's Y-O-U-N-G 40-M-O-M at gmail.com and I will send it to you. I've sent out, I think it's about 10 or 11 of them. Okay, so there's that. Now, this is the knitted piece I told you about. Um, I finally finished my square, my block. I'm going to make two of them. And the reason why, I, I don't knit much, um, but I, I did this. I, can't, I think it's called the stockinette stitch. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the stitch is called. But anyway, if you look very closely, you see little tiny V's. I actually think I have it upside down. But anyway... Um, you can cross stitch on this and that was the whole purpose of me making this this piece of fabric with knitting I'm going to cross stitch a pattern on it and be really cute and make it into a little a Little pillow. I'm going to do one or two things. I'm either going to get tired of it and make it into a pillow or I'm going to make blocks of them and make it into a Afghan I'm not sure yet what I want to do, but I know I want to do something on it but th at least the the piece is finished as far as like the knitting part of it. Um, I finished a chenille bear. I did not do the typical eyes on the bear. My, my light's not... Let's see if I can tilt my light down a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Um, on this one, instead of using the safety eyes, I had, I had already done the head up. So this isn't going to be baby friendly anyway because it is the chenille. Um, if they put it in their mouth, fuzzies will go everywhere. So, yeah, I did. I sewed on button eyes, and then I took some uh, black um, yarn, regular black yarn, red heart yarn, and stitched in the nose. And my bears don't have mouths. Why I don't know. I just just like them there. But the ears, I love the ears. The ears are always so cute. But this is a a green like a, what do you call it, like a sage color, uh, but it's chenille, it's so soft, yeah, I love that, I've never worked with the chenille, now this is a smaller bear, but believe it or not, it is the same pattern that I made for the other bears, the big ones that you just saw, uh, but this one, uh, because I used a smaller needle, and it is a, the chenille, it is a thinner yarn, I had to use a smaller needle, the bear turned out a lot smaller so and if I make a companion to it with the six inch pattern that I have it's gonna be maybe this big that would be kind of kind of cute I don't know I don't know if I'll do that or not but anyway okay so that's the bear um like I said I, I pulled out my knitting needles I made a scarf this has got to be some of the softest yarn I have ever felt it is, I just want to rub up against it. It's like my cat fur, like Ellie's fur. It's just so soft, and it's not scratchy, and it's just perfect scarf material. But I just did um, knit one side, knit one row, purl one row, and uh, and the reason why I ended up knitting with this is because I'm a big crocheter. So I tried, and the colors on this are so pretty. I tried to do the knitting with it, but... I mean the crochet with it, but because the way the yarn is, it's like a string and then there's a bunch of little fuzzy fringe hanging down from it. I had issues trying to find where the stitches were. Every type of crochet stitch, I tried them all. I tried doing it with a bigger needle. I mean even a size Q. If you guys don't know what a Q needle is, it's like this big. I even tried it with a Q needle and it just, I, I just didn't enjoy it. So, so I knitted it. Um, this was one skein, and it's huge. I need to measure it. But it's the perfect size just for one skein. And, and these skeins are $8.99 a piece, so they're not cheap. Um, 
so yeah so that's just oh, sorry it's just so freaking soft okay so I made the scarf I'm not sure who I'm gonna get that to yet and then I made this really nice it's called lambs lammy pie is the name of this particular cut the baby blanket um the colors are not doing it justice it is baby blue baby pink yellow baby yellow and white but um, on my camera it's not showing up the way that I want it to but I finished this blanket and what I did was I just did a really big granny square and you really can't tell that's what it is unless you know the granny square stitch because of the way the the material has come together it's just again it is just as soft and that's why it's called lamy pie is the the name of the yarn um let's see i think it's yarnby yarnby is the company but the the type of yarn it's called is called lamy pie but it's like um it looks like sheep's wool um, before you process it after while it's still on there but it's so soft again like like cat fur really really soft so that's all my finishes um I had the the two cross stitch and I had the the knitted fabric for cross stitch the scarf the blanket and the bear so I've got to put the other bears together so I've got my work cut out for me before Christmas is over so oh, I think that's it all right and like I said this I've great uses for these really really affordable boxes so that's it um that's all i've got as far as like whips finishes um oh i was going to show you what my um uh, noah sub has come to so i'll be okay, right guys. back um this lighting is not as good actually it's not good at all i'm filming in the evening and because that's the only time i really get a chance to i have to wait till madison goes to bed to film trust me i, I have to wait <laughs> The only thing I did on the Noah sub, I got a big Q snap, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've got it at my desk in the living room, propped up right now. But I'm um, really loving the Q snaps. I am having to do this. I do not have a frame to hold it. I mean, a stand to hold it. So I have to do all this hand in hand. So working with the bigger board with one hand is it's kind of difficult. So, um, but I did. I just filled in a little bit of this and that's all I really did on this so I, I've got a lot of work to do uh, I've got to do a lot of the back stitching on that to actually you know, define the faces and the eyes I just got you on video oh my gosh she just flopped over like this Is she looking at your feet? She's not moving. Ellie. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Beauty queen. She got such a tiny head and such a big old body. Look at that big old body and that tiny, tiny head. She's actually fat when she stretches. Well, she's not fat. She just <laughs> walking around in circles. Where are you going? Where are you going? There. Where are you going? You're going to love me? Now she's going to flop over again. Oh, there she goes. Oh, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute whenever she She is her. cute. I like that white spot on her back. Me too. Oh, oh, see that little black spot right there? Yeah, it's a circle when she stands up straight. It's a yeah. big old circle patch. And if you scratch the part where, right here. On the back of her tail. Oh, uh, but. don't because she puts her butt in the air and I don't like it. Yeah, me. Just scratch her neck and her head. That's where you should be scratching anyway. Yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, I love you. Alright, say bye everybody. Bye. Peace out.